what up youtube i'm back so it was a freaking good episode man i loved it so i didn't do a review last week because the episode was awful especially the animation and art i really didn't like it so that's the reason why i didn't do a review on it so my bad for y'all that was waiting for the review but anyway man this week's episode was amazing it was just great man i really liked it I was waiting for this episode for a while because I was spoiled by Noel's new, you know, spell a while ago, but it was all worth it, you know, to wait for it, and it was amazing. Seeing Noel's sister and brother's reaction to her power was extraordinary, man. It was really cool to see their reaction just in this shot right there. It's crazy. Their reaction is crazy, you know, so I really like that, but... Uh, I wasn't surprised because they don't really know her like that, but the thing that I was really surprised with was uh, Nozelle, and the reason why I was surprised is not because he was acknowledging Noel, because we've seen a change in him in the last few episodes since they've been uh, trying to get to the Clover Kingdom, but the thing that surprised me the most was him actually apologized to Noel because of all the things that he've, he's done since you know she was a child and the reason that he did all of that was to protect her because obviously noel reminds him of his mother because they look a lot alike and he wanted to protect her he didn't want her to die on the on the battlefield you know so that's the reason why he was doing all of that he's not like the other two that you know didn't really care about her he's different you know so i thought that that moment between noel and nozel was pretty damn cool man nozelle was even blushing a little bit when he was apologizing to noel because i guess it's hard for him to apologize but it's, it's even harder for him to apologize to his little sister which he loves you know so that was basically the first sign of love that he's given noel so i thought that it was an amazing scene but anyway, man, uh, we know that from last week's episode, no, the, no, the Silva family, and when I'm saying the Silva family, I'm basically saying Noel and Nozel are fighting one of the elves, and her magic is quite interesting, you know. Because I didn't do a review last week, I didn't really, I didn't talk yet about uh, her magic, and I can't say that I understand it fully, but it, it's quite interesting, man. I really like how it looks. I really like how it works and uh, the the scene where they were because of her magic was quite nice you know I really like the green around them you know because uh, the way that it works is that I guess they can't really use their magic fully in this space you know because of her magic and uh, what actually happened is Noel finally uh, given uh, uh, armor you know a new spell and this new spell is awesome man because it looks a lot a lot like uh, her mother's which we're gonna talk about later in this review so noel's new spell is water creation magic valkyrie armor so that was awesome and it looks amazing and we've seen it before obviously we've seen it in a flashback with noel's mother uh noelle's mother had a different kind of magic you know she i think she could use mercury like nozelle right now but she was using a mercury armor so the same armor as noel but in mercury uh, noelle is using her valkyrie armor with a uh, water magic obviously and we heard a little bit later in this uh, episode i think that uh nozelle actually iterated uh noel's mother's uh, magic uh, mercury and the other three uh, younger brothers and sisters actually narrated the magic of their father which we haven't seen yet you know so i think that's quite interesting but uh yeah man it was really cool to see noel in her armor she's even more stronger than she was before which is crazy because she was using a water dragon and she used it in her armor you know the water dragon i thought that that was even more overpowered but yeah man this form looks amazing it looks even better on noel in my opinion than on noel's mother so my bad if i'm 
kind of biased about that but yeah man it looked amazing but obviously like i said uh nozel actually when she he looked at noel in her armor her valkyrie armor uh, it, re it reminded him of his mother you know of their mother so i thought that that was also a pretty cool moment anyway even though noel had a new spell and she was in her valkyrie armor it's not going to be easy to defeat an elf because even this elf we don't really know who she is but she's really really strong man her magic is something special you know because if it wasn't for uh, noel's valkyrie armor she wasn't really able to use a magic before that even nozel wasn't really able to use his magic fully he had to concentrate a lot to just move his mercury you know so the only reason why noel was able to go head to head with this elf was because of her new valkyrie armor which was amazing to see because um like they've said in the episode i think nozel said it or maybe it was noel i don't remember exactly she was kind of dancing in the in the air you know the way that she was moving it was like a dance you know and she was kind of swimming on mana that's what the elf said so that i thought that it was a pretty uh great description of what was happening to noel even noel was saying that she was kind of free you know the way that she was moving the way that she was fighting she even asked herself if that's how her mother felt you know when she was using her magic and that i thought was also pretty cool but yeah man uh, the way that her magic was actually working it was quite awesome i think she said that everything that she touches she can control or she can destroy so that's kind of overpowered in my opinion but uh it, it's worth it you know i really like it but yeah one last thing that i want to say before the final battle of the episode is when nozelle saw noel in her valkyrie armor he actually saw his mother into noel and he said something pretty interesting he said mother the dancing princess of the battlefield you know so i'm guessing that that's how his mother was called in the battlefield you know because uh, she was actually a captain so that that's quite interesting but yeah man just seeing the similarities in uh, nozelle's mother and noel's armor is pretty cool you know there's some different things on their armor but it's pretty similar and that's pretty cool that he saw uh, his mother in uh, noel you know so I, I thought that that was a pretty cool moment too anyway noel was able to defeat the elf that was you know keeping them in this space where they couldn't really use their magic fully but right after that there was other elf that arrived at their location you know so they were uh, outnumbered one because um noel and nozelle's little brother not little brother but brother wasn't doing anything he was kind of scared and their sister was injured you know so they couldn't really do anything so it was only on noel and nozelle at first but then we saw zora arrive from nowhere you know so that was kind of funny to see him but yeah man they teamed up and um, I think Nozel used his Mercury to kind of seal his wound, which is kind of crazy, you know. But, you know, they teamed up. Uh, Noel, Zora, and Nozel teamed up to defeat uh, the other elf. So that was also pretty cool. Obviously, the fight is not over. But, yeah, man, the episode was, I think, amazing. I really liked it, especially the parts with noelle because she's been one of my favorite characters since the beginning of the series so to see how strong she's become in her valkyrie armor it was just amazing man the animation and art was actually pretty good man i really liked it obviously it wasn't uh god tier like when uh asta and you know fought uh lich or when um patry fought the wizard king it wasn't as uh, good as that but it was still uh, really really good you know so uh, i really appreciate it but yeah man let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below and let me know what you think is gonna happen next i really like how noel and nozelle's relationship has developed you know how 
and Nozel has apologized and acknowledged Noel in the past few episodes, you know. And then this week it was even further that than I thought it'd be, you know, the real their relationship. So I'm really liking what I'm seeing. But I do Black Clover reviews every Tuesday, so subscribe for that. But I also do other anime related things like uh, Dr. Stone reviews on Friday, Sword Art Online, Boku no Hero Academia Season 4, and One Piece reviews on Saturdays, and then I do Boruto Naruto Next Generation reviews on Sunday, so stay tuned for all of that. Uh, I, was, I wasn't I was able to do reviews really last week because I had a lot of things to do, so my bad about that, but I'm back this week for all of the anime that I'm reviewing, so stay tuned, man. Uh, but yeah, uh, follow me at Anime Specialist at, uh, on Instagram and Twitter and like, comment, subscribe. It would help my channel a lot. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Anime Specialist out. Peace.